Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. If you ask a San Bernardino supervisor, how is the county doing? Well, they just might be able to answer you. There's a community indicators report they can refer to, and it takes a look at how things are going in the community. And with us now to uh, tell us about a couple of those areas is Supervisor Gary Ovid. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Leslie. My pleasure. Uh, how did the Community Indicators Report come to be, and what do you do with it? Well, uh, actually, we noticed that Orange County has been doing it for even longer than we have, and so we borrow best practices, of course. And so the whole idea behind it is to get some evidence-based dr uh, driven data, if you will, so that we can use that and assess what our base uh, baseline is for where we are in important issues, whether it be wellness and health care, whether it be education, economics, uh, the many different areas that are so important. And then from there, we can implement programs, change policies, do the kinds of things we need to try to improve uh, the quality of life for our constituency. So the areas that really get the attention aren't the ones that you're uh, seeing are doing well, they're the ones that you're seeing aren't doing so well so that you can give them some special attention. Tell uh -huh. us about a, a couple of those areas. I, I'd be happy to and, and you're right obviously we'll devote more time to those areas that are weak. One of them is, is wellness if you will or community health. We have a real problem with our children as far as obesity is concerned, as far as uh, hypertension is concerned, diabetes, those kinds of things. And so uh, we've been uh, implementing some practices and worked with all of the uh, stakeholders in that area of health care to try to make a difference for them. Uh, a second one would be we have a, a vision at the county it's called uh, Cradle to Careers, part of our vision. We want to partner all of us together in community working to help every child from the cradle to their career and we want them to be able to work in our in our community in our region here. And so with that in mind we're helping them in education, we're partnering together to help make sure that the job is available for them, the career if you will will be available here in San Bernardino County so they can cont continue to contribute to our county and at the same time we can help them to fulfill their dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, it is important to have kids have a pathway and some sort of goal that they can see that they actually can attain. It is and it's you know I, I know the former uh, first lady said that it takes a village to raise a person or a child especially mm -hmm. and it's so true we need to partner to help these children especially those who come from the Inland Empire I mean unfortunately uh, we're a very affordable community that, which has its own issues and so what we can do to help them get past those uh, those problems areas or those uh, you know those obstacles or hurdles we're going to help them do that. You know a lot of people have the added hurdle of uh, starting their life in poverty. Um, there's a lot more poverty in our area than we'd like to see. Absolutely. Uh, if you look at uh, the, the Skag region, which is all six counties in Southern California, with the exception of uh, San Diego, uh, and they probably are very similar as far as statistics, one in four children are living in poverty in this area, which is, you know, morally we want to change that. That just our children deserve better than that. We want to break that cycle. And in the Inland Empire, it's even greater yet. And so uh, that's one of the areas that we're working on. Uh, SCAG, Southern California Association of Governments, put together a summit. And then from that, we want to, uh, August 20th is a day of action as far as we're concerned. That was the day that President Linda Baines Johnson signed the Opportunity Act to try to create that war on poverty to break it. And so we want a day of action to come about every year that people are doing something to make a difference for children and for adults that are in poverty. And so we're going to work hard to make sure that that happens. That's something you've been working hard on. Uh, you're yes. leaving office at the end of the year? I am. What are you going to do? I, well, that's one of the areas. It's a passion for me. I'm a former school teacher, and so I look forward to what can I do to help children out. And the best thing I think I can do is try to change the future for our children so that they have a, a better opportunity. They can fulfill their dreams uh, to get them out of that poverty, to help have that career available for them. So I'm going to work with SCAG uh, locally to try to make a difference in that regard. And I think it'll be fun as well. I'm going to be working with uh, new and young uh, leaders to try to help them develop the, uh, the skills they need to be uh, leaders for the future and change our future for us. Gary Ovid, nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you.